Here we are, the dangerous commies Antifa setting up the Manchester Marxist Society. They've got their turned up jeans, they've got the big black boots, they've got the paranoid nervous looks towards me with the camera. I wonder if they believe in rioting and turning everyone into a transsexual <laughs> and uh, smashing capitalism. If only it were so simple, if only we could just blame capital and then bring about a Marxist revolution and then everyone would sit around the fireplace sharing, caring, doing hard work, caring about the community as if it would really work. Like, it really worked really well in the Soviet Union. Let's ignore the starvations. It really worked in Venezuela. Let's ignore the starvation as well. Yes, Isaac, I'll go home. I just want to shout, shout at the communists for five minutes. So I spent years, every night, every night, half an hour meditation, lying there every night. How is the universe assembled to create consciousness? Welcome to Piccadilly Gardens with Charlie and Isaac. Sunny day, Saturday, 22nd of August. And I just want to tie it all together. What does materialism, nihilism, degeneracy, ugliness, SDWism, far leftism all have in common with atheism? Here's the answer. Here's the answer. Does anyone know anything about the Romanians carving dogs out of sand? Labradors, out of sand Labradors. What is it? Why are people giving them money? So we're here on Market Street in the covered area and I've been chatting to the Muzzies. Now, these are people who most definitely believe in a transcendental creator, i.e. God. And just to show you how dedicated they are, these two tents are not from the same organization. These boys are from Birmingham. These guys are from Manchester. And just to show you why the share price of Islam is shooting through the roof and everything else is going, eh. These people really believe in what they believe to the point where, by coincidence, you're going to have two tents from independent factions here promoting their beliefs. Now, I've gone to chat with the Birmingham group over there and everything they said, absolutely spot on, which leads me to believe that the multi-spearheaded fight against nihilism and materialism will certainly include our fearless Muslim brothers. Imagine since the day you were born, the propaganda was you live forever, your uh, indestructible soul, uh, your bravery fighting against darkness and cowardice will reverberate into infinity. But nowadays, no, it's scientific materialism. You're made of dust, you're made of atoms, your life is meaningless, consciousness is an illusion, you're gonna die in 80 years and there's nothing more to it. And by the way, we've thrown in a bit of atheism so that your gods are shit. That's what we have. You know what? This is correct. A white person has no superiority over a black person, nor does a black person have any superiority over a white person, except by righteousness. Absolutely spot on. Not all poor people are meek saints. A lot of them are really nasty, bitter and envious people and they're self-sabotaging. So what happens when you mix nihilism with materialism? You get the modern left. There you go, fuse it, got Isaac and a protest that is brewing. There's Stand Up X, which uh, I'm a part of that group on Facebook. Very interesting, it's a coalition of people not wanting to be told to wear masks. And they post data about the changing government messages of masks, the efficacy of masks, and also there's a group of people gonna be here at the Queen Victoria statue. 
that are against child abuse, the whole Jeffrey Epstein, Hollywood elite pedo set. They are here against that. is doing something that someone somewhere doesn't want you to do. Everything else is obedience. <laughs> 